Hi, this is Tina from Julia's Gallery. I'm going to be furthering our beginner's lesson in drawing with pencil and I'm going to actually draw an object. If you remember last time we actually drew out some shapes as you can see on this pad of paper and we started to establish a shape of a cup in this instance. Well, we're actually going to move on to a glass and we're going to use our pad of paper, simply turn it over and then we're going to use our glass. Now, in art there are two ways to draw. There's a portrait and there's a landscape. But we're going to do portrait because it's a glass and we're going to actually draw our glass hopefully reasonably centrally within this piece of paper. And this is the glass that we're going to be drawing. Okay, now with a bit of skill, we're going to balance that there. Now, this is the 2B pencil that I introduced you to in the first series and I'm going to teach you how to draw a glass. Now if you remember we used the semicircular concept last time. It needs to be a nice flat semicircular shaping because when you look at the glass you actually look across the top of it in its perspective. So from your eye, eye viewpoint that's what it looks like. And then you're going to actually draw the shape. You're going to actually move, move down your uh, drawing drawing a simple lined shape. It's a long glass because it's uh, along the tumbler and we're going to draw the shaping on that. We're probably going to go to about here in the drawing. That looks reasonably good in our eye perspective if you like. So you are making a judgment as to how long you think the glass is in perspective of your picture. Now remember there's artistic license in drawing so if you get it wrong it doesn't matter. All right so we're going to have a little play with that. We're going to give it that semicircular shape that I taught you the first time and we're starting to establish our drawing and if you like our shape. Now you can see that this end here isn't perfect, it's not terrific at the moment and we're just establishing what we think we like in, in our overall um, shape of glass if you, if you like. Now this glass has actually got patterns on it, we could put the patterns on it but first we need to establish its shaping so we're going to give it a base because it's see-through we're going to give it a context it's got some sort of basing to it we're going to actually start to give it some shape by using our textured pencil so that we can see that we we've got a if you like a round shaped object and give it some sort of idea that that's got its identity there we're going to switch to our 4b so that we can start to maybe put some lines down it to give it some context that it's actually um, a 3D object um, and we're just sort of establishing our glass into some sort of perspective. Now as you can see this is starting to take shape. We may like to soften the edges as I told you before. Um, we may want to give it a slightly rounder perspective here to give it a back to the see-through quality of the glass. As we're looking at the glass we're establishing our identity with the glass. We're not asking for somebody else's identity of what we think the glass looks like, otherwise there'd be no point in drawing. We would simply take a photograph. So we are giving it, if you like, our version of a glass. And as you can see, it's starting to really sort of give itself some embodiments of that, if you like, shape. Drawing is as simple as that. It should be a, it should be a pleasurable thing that you end up doing. If you wanted to give it some perspective then you put a line behind it because it's perhaps on a tabletop and you might want to start to establish what we've got behind that to give it some context. If we wanted to say there was a light shining we might give it some shadowing and things of this ilk to give it its overall feeling that it's 3D and as we build this concept, this picture, we are starting to establish if you like, our world view of this glass. When we're drawing, we are just simply enjoying the process of just creatively flowing whatever we believe this object should take on um, in terms of its, if you like, presentation and it's our view of the world as we see it. There is no right and wrong, there just simply is enjoying the process as we develop our interpretation of that glass. Now 
you need to practice this in your own time, enjoy it, re-watch the video, have a little play, see if you like using these sorts of pencils, perhaps you like something um, a little bit uh, softer again, perhaps you like to work with charcoal and in further series we will be introducing things like charcoal in and pastels which are very soft to use and very easy to give things shape to. But as you can see, as we started to establish that, that's starting to take shape as a drawing. And something, as I said in our first series, most everybody can start to enjoy and give and bring life to their drawings and some of this process as they sort of establish it from there. And so in time, you'll be able to establish more of your own style and use, if you like, more complex shapes, as in physical form, and you'll be able to establish better... Um, control of shading and things like this and you'll establish your own style and that's really important. I think that when we look at drawings we've got to appreciate that they're going to have our characteristics or our stylization in them and then you'll be able to move on to colour and colour is really important because colour brings an awful lot of things to life. I'm pretty well known as an artist for my colour and my use of colour and my liking of a lot of colour but as you can see it's a stylization that you will establish for your own um, sake and something that you can then establish if you like as you sort of develop your stylization. So thank you for listening. In the next series in part three we'll be going on to more complex shapes and some um, movement within our drawing so that we can uh, understand how movement and texture works. And texture works.